Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I say good morning. Good morning, good morning. I'm wise enough. I'm not the foolish boy they used to know so long ago. I'm stronger now. If not to, I've learned from my mistakes, me. No. And myself, I put myself aside to do it your way. But now I know. But now I need to do it on my own, all, all, all alone, my fault. And I am not afraid to try it all on my own. You don't, don't care if I'm right or wrong. I live my life the way I feel. No matter what, I'm keeping it real, you know. It's time for me to do it on my own. Shout out to Whitney Houston. One time. One time for the mic and the volume. It's over now. Turn to back to be even you. Know. I can't go back to living through yo, but I... Too many lies, too many lies, too many lies. And if you don't know by now, I can't go back to being someone else. Not anymore. Sorry. Oh, shit. I never even... I never had the chance to do it my way. So now it's time for me to do control. And I am not afraid to try it on my own. I don't care if I'm right or wrong. I live my life the way I feel. No matter what, I'm keeping it real. You know, it's time for me to do it. Yeah, yeah. I have to sing to y'all real quick. I miss, I miss her. Whitney Houston, you know I miss you, baby. She had a special soul. I said she had a special. Shout out to you too. She had a special soul. Feel me? Today's uh, tax day, um, April 15, 2021. Still ain't filed my taxes yet, by the way. <laughs> That's not even funny, but I did it. The tax day has been extended. It has been extended to May 15th, so we still got a month. You know, for all the latecomers and slow posts out there like myself and others. <laughs> you know. I'm about to, well not I'm about to, I'm heading towards my place right now you dig no excuses we still gotta make it yesterday i was not 100 percent. i didn't want to say nothing i feel a little better than i was yesterday you know they be trying to make your boy sick man but it was no complaints you feel me i never complain i only complain afterwards but i'm like oh fuck it. i'm still gonna go through it so i'm feeling a little a little better you know what i mean i never share what's wrong with me never ever Ever, never, ever, never, ever, never, feel me? Never, ever, 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 get on my level. What? You, I, so, you know what it is, you dig? I was going to talk about a lot of things, but I had a notification. Check that out. Sometimes you can't tell, so I'm not even gonna feel me. We go take. I was I I was talk. I was gonna talk about a few things. I always got a few things to talk about. Then I forget about all of it. Then Eric Bell helped me out. Had a notification. 
he said the title was we are not our ancestors and I respect respectfully disagree with him I respectfully disagree with him I mean he has some pointers that says you know um and I respect his mind, so that's why I'm not coming at him in a disrespectful manner. I'm just playing devil's advocate and put my thoughts out there, you dig? I don't know what I mean. And I've been studying lately, you know, gathering some few information. But unfortunately, to tell you the truth, the Bible said it itself. There's nothing new under the sun, my nigga. You feel me? We are literally our ancestors. We just doing the same thing that niggas been doing for years upon years. We just doing a different pattern. You dig? Just like water can be ice, but it's the same um, element. We doing the same thing. It's just in a different pattern. That's all we doing, my nigga. We literally are our ancestors. Sometimes we reverse roles. You feel me? But the human race is the human race is a human race. You feel me? Every animal had a common ancestor. You dig? And all everything that we're doing is already written already. There's nothing new, my nigga. I swear to God, it's nothing new. Science is finding that out the hard way. <laughs> I had to put that in there the hard way. And there's nothing new under the sun. Every common animal has had a common ancestor in the past, even a human. The human being has had a, a common ancestor in the past. We are not, I repeat, we are not, we didn't deprive from monkeys. The monkeys got their own ancestors and we have our own ancestors, which is like a human form, homo sapien or whatever you want to call it. But we are literally doing the same thing they did. You feel me? I'm just saying. I know sometimes we like to have our, we want our kids to have a better life than we do and everything else like that. But truth be told, no matter how better, or maybe they get a bigger house, or they get a faster car, it does not matter. We are still traveling the same uh, road of path. My ancestors' ancestors could have rode a donkey, and today I got a Rolls Royce. It's the same shape, my nigga. We still on the same path. You dig like it? Really, truly. Like, you dig like it's just a modern time, different, it's just different energy and different ways of doing things. Sometimes we do deviate. And that's this topic. That's what I'm going to go into. I'm going right, right into it. You feel me? We're going to go right into that. But right now I'm giving y'all, I'm taking what Eric Bell said. About we are not our ancestors, and I'm telling him like we are our ancestors. That's the reason why they take. That's the reason why I keep creating myself. I take 23 chromosomes of my DNA. Another 23 comes from a woman, and I keep remaking myself. You feel me? We are our ancestors. We just you know, I'm just experiencing life in different patterns, but everything remains the same. You feel me? Unfortunately, ain't shit changed since '88, man. Ain't shit changed since the beginning of time. We keep doing the same thing, just in a different form. Once upon a time, I was riding a donkey. Then from a donkey, I rode a horse. From a horse, I'm in a Rolls Royce. From a Rolls Royce, I'm in a jet plane. But we keep doing the same thing over and over. We say the quality of life is better, but to tell the truth, it's the same thing. Because in a different time, hey, a donkey was a luxury commodity to have. Riding a horse, we used to be the Rose Wars back in the day. And today, Rose Wars seems to be the thing back in the day. Then the next day, is going to be a Tesla. The next thing is going to be this. But at the same time, the, call, the quality of life is based on the current time that you're in right now. People need to understand that. You feel me? We just need to... I don't want, to, I don't want their message right now. They ain't fucking up my energy. We need to understand that the quality of life... Is based on the current time that you win. You feel me? Today is Rolls Royce is you know double R. The next then next time is going to be something else. Then the next time you feel me? It doesn't make it. It doesn't seem. It doesn't mean that modern day knows better. You feel me? No, it doesn't mean that. It just means that this car passed. He think he got a sweet one. Come on, sweet James. 
Shout out to Sweet James. He's all over the bus out here. He seems to be a, an accident attorney. So I'm shouting a free, free shout out, free every, free, free advertisement. I never met the dude. It's just he has his advertisement all over the bus. I just didn't want to, you know what I mean? I see they're trying to send me a message on the other side of the road, so I had to cross and cross back again. I don't want your message. So me, these niggas attack. I don't want that. Then they want to show you the phone. Like, nah, it's okay. I can, if I want to, the phone that you stole, I can have it. I said this too many times. You can have it. I know you want to hold on to it. <laughs> I got it. No. Stop it. I can get another one if I wanted to. You feel me? I just decided like it's best I hold on to my money and it was a great lesson that I learned but it was also a blessing in disguise and I love it. You dig? Let's get back to the subject, you feel me? The niggas that probably stole, they used to steal a lot of things like that back in the days. They must have stole something from me a thousand, few thousand years ago. They're just repeating the pattern again. Of course you can break the cycle but it's not a coincidence that they did it. You feel me? This is what I'm trying to tell you. We are repeating the same thing. We're just doing the same thing over and over. The human race is some kind of pattern that we do do the same pattern that we got to break. But it's only a few in between that break those patterns. You feel me? I'm on the path of breaking the same pattern. But truth be told, we are our ancestors. True. Truly. We are. Like, you feel me? But I want to talk about a modern day woman. You feel me? The reason why... I think that certain group of people, I think the black woman is herself has a different nature than other women, honestly. That's the reason why the black woman is the most educated woman in the United States of America. Because her pattern is different. Her nature is different from most other women. You have to understand the African race itself was the most advanced civilization in the world before the rest of the other world caught up. And that's just a fact. You feel me? That's why they hide our history from us. Although they hide our history from us and slow down our process in the world itself, our pattern did not change. So here we are. You have to understand what's going on. Here we are living a lesser version of ourselves, which is just a different pattern, a lower pattern of ourselves. But yet we are projecting ourselves in this modern day. It's just a different form. Now, nah, hear me when you hear me clearly. There's no need to hate because you don't know this is spirit that's speaking to you. So hear me very clearly. Now, you have the most educated group of people are the black women, right? If you take a down look into history of the African race, at least the history that we keep finding out and we finding out we don't even know the, all of it yet because most of our history was destroyed. They hated it. They, they, they definitely did. They burnt our history and everything. I burnt the library. Burnt everything. You feel me? If you, when you look on the Egyptian walls and everything, that's, that's a record of a library. You feel me? So I, feel, I believe that if you have a civilization, like the African civilization, Built pyramids and everything else like that. We know the ancient Egyptians were black. It's a fact. That, I mean, there wasn't really that many color around back then. So we know that these people were advanced in technology, in math, language, you know, communication. You know, we knew everything. They was doing surgery and everything else like that. So you have that. Remember, with the life that you live in, you added it on to your DNA already. You feel me? It's to be a computer. So the things that we do is being recorded already. So you have a you have the black woman in this modern day, although we are being oppressed and suppressed, we are still striving because of what our ancestors did. That's the reason why they didn't want uh the people that they captured from Africa not to read, so that the modern day people who captured them, not the modern day people, the people that captured them, let's call them the slave masters, needed time to catch up. So they suppress a particular group of people not to read for a very long time. You feel me? I'm just saying. It's true. So true. That's the reason why when you look back into African history, there was more African queens and African warriors than anywhere else in the world. So the, the DNA 
of this African warrior and African princess is projecting all around the world itself and you see it for yourself you feel me it doesn't necessarily mean that what it projects itself is going to be just in a black in the form of a black woman because there's a lot of people that have black in them that don't even know and they, there's a lot of mix going on you feel me so the african dna or the african spirit because your dna is your spirit by the way so the african spirit is projecting itself out loud it's screaming out loud through the individual that it lay bed in, bedded in, you feel me? It's projecting itself in the, it, it, it's showing greatness. There was more African warriors than anywhere in African warrior woman. Let me put that out because sometimes I'll be forgetting to add a, a piece to it. Then I listen, I listen back. Then I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to say this. So it's more African warrior woman. In the continent of Africa, at least from what we've been digging up and the things that we've been finding out, than any worlds in the world. I'm not saying that other places didn't have warrior women, like Xena, the warrior princess. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, the concept itself was African, you feel me? There was more African warrior princes than any world in the world. There was more African pharaohs, princes, or queens than any world in the world. We just haven't found out yet. And these people, and these women were very intelligent, were leading men in battles and everything else like that. So, when I look at the African-American woman right now, she's projecting, not trying to be submissive and everything else like that. I don't think these things are co coincident. She's different than any other race of groups. <clears throat> and I don't think that's coincident. You feel me? I don't think that's coincident. You feel me? I mean, think about it. I know. How come... They are more, they are different than any other race of groups. You feel me? They are different. You feel me? I'll be watching Kevin Samuel, and I'm like, okay, we do have. I'm looking at the uh, data. I'm like, okay, we, 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 there's something going on that we do not understand. You feel me? She's not. She, she's not likely to submit. She definitely is very hard for her to submit in any form of shape. Even when she do submit, she's not going to submit to anybody. She's going to submit to something that's higher than her. You feel me? You dig? So it's like, okay, what is going on? What has... If we knew of the past itself, what they were so jealous of that they destroyed it, then we would know how to handle the woman and everything else that we do. The reason why the pyramid, the great the Giza, the great pyramid of Giza was built, because information was preserved. You can tell from the past that there was a state, uh, there was a, there was a, there was a step pyramid. Then after that, you can tell from the gradual, the gradualness of it all, and you had the great Giza pyramid itself. So, even when you go to the next country over in Sudan. There's thousands of pyramids. They hated. They broke all of those shits down. They hate us. Some hating ass niggas. Some colonizers came from another country. They came to that country and started breaking up the tip of those pyramids. But there's thousands. There's more pyramids in Sudan than there is in Egypt. You feel me? So which means it was perfected on how to build these things. You feel me? It's just that the Giza pyramids is the biggest of them all. You feel me? You even have pyramids in Peru. They have pyramids all over the place. You feel me? So you can tell it was perfected. But in the beginning, it was something, it was a gradual. It was something, it was, it was like, they had to, they had to fail first in order for them to gradually, you feel me, get to the masterpiece that they was at. But after the Giza pyramids, we also see a decline in what happened to be probably a flood or something like that. It happened to be a decline in how people were building the pyramids and everything else like that. It wasn't built after that anymore. It wasn't like, okay, so why did it stop? Like, why did they stop building it? They was, they was building it, thousands and thousands of it. Why did they stop building it? Because the information, a flood happened and the information was not passed down on anymore. And that's the same thing with the slave trade and everything else like that. If you take a per, if you take the information from the people who they or uh, who who hold the information, guess what? It's going to be a decline in the way that people produce. You feel me? So that's what happened. You feel me? Because of the slave trade and everything else like that, the burning of libraries in the in Timbuktu. You feel me? They burn everything down. The 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 stealing of information, even African art pieces that we got to tell these niggas to bring back what we build, an art piece, 
of ourselves. You feel I me? Mean? Shit like that. How can we see ourselves? We can't see ourselves in other people. We have to see ourselves in the art that we have created. Of course, we can create something new and everything else like that. But I'm telling you, is that it, it, it takes that much longer for you to build that. If if I if I start off one, two, three, all the way to ten, and all that shit was destroyed, I have to start back from one again. I can't start off eleven, twelve. No, I have to start. I have to start from one back up again, so I can build up my own image from scratch and start. You dig? But if I find from 1 to 10, then I'll be like, oh, okay, I don't have to repeat something that I have already done already. I can continue. I can continue where I've already started because I know that this is true. You feel me? Although we can build up back the same thing again, it's better for us to just to start from where we already started from. That's all I'm saying. You feel me? So I just feel like I just had to throw that information out there. I didn't really do that much research on it, but I just felt like the African-American woman nature is different from other women so how do we go about how do we go in exploring that like we, we know she's more stronger than other women she is she's just much more aggressive than other women you feel me she she seems to be more of a leader more intelligent i'm not saying she's not me but if you was to if an alien race was to come on earth we would choose the African American woman or just an African woman or a black woman to lead us. Plain and simple. If it came to the woman's side, you feel me? When it came to the men's side, eh, that's a debate. But the African American, we would choose the African or the black man to lead the race. Because they just seems to be more aggressive, more intelligent, more manly. You feel me? We're not even going to go and look because I feel like I look good. The beauty is in the eye of the beholder because we can't even go on that. So that means that it could change from one person to another. So we're not going to go and look. We just look. We're just going to go on what does it require to be a leader. And leadership does not uh, require how you look good in clothes or the model. Or that. It's based on how you lead men. It's based on how much information can you carry. It's based on when there is adversity. That I, whatever diversity, adversity, whatever, or trials and tribulation, how a person can lead and everything else like that. So I want us to. I just want to throw that out there and see, like, okay, what is it about the individual black woman that makes her so <clears throat> superior when it comes to the data tells you everything, even though she's being oppressed and everything else like that, she has accomplished great. You feel me? You feel me? Although they like they took the man away from the home and everything else. Most of the men, the black man, is in prison. Only thirteen percent of the population, but yet we make up uh, the highest pop we make up the highest percent in prison. So we know that these women are doing it on their own. And even though they they've been left to do it on their own, they still achieving very high for a small group like that. They are very small of a group and they still have the highest education. So I'm starting to believe that their nature is different from other women. You feel me? I'm just saying when I'm and now I'm looking into the past and I'm like, hmm. There is a lot more African warrior princess that we hear of. You feel me? It's not even the Queen of Sheba. We also have Queen uh, Nefertiti. Like there's so many of them. I can't even mention all of them. But we keep hearing about these great individuals. Hold on. Let the let this shit pass. But we keep hearing about these great individual women that have done great in African history. So I'm like, maybe her nature is different and we ought to look at her from a different lens than other women. You feel me? We just have to. And the African civilization did have They had a lead when it came to there's more there's more empires in the African past than anywhere else. You feel me? We can look at the Egyptian past. We can look at the Ghanaian Empire. We can look at the Mali Empire. We can look at the uh, Shaka Zulus. Like there's so many. At least at least from what we know, and this is actual fact. We can look at King Musa. You feel me? The man that was going around just passing out gold, pieces of gold. Like you take gold, a gold for you, a gold for you, a gold for to the world that the world economy tanked over. You feel me? So these, hold on, let the car pass.
so these are the things that we know of um these are the things that we know of um the history that we know of course most of it has been burned down most of it has been hidden from us but from what we know we know that you know it's a unique set of individuals because nobody will travel across the world past other race other uh, race of people just to go collect a, a specific group of people you feel me you dig like I refuse to believe that they just went and they didn't know where they was getting. They went to the Pacific side of Africa. Most of the slave, slave trade, most of the slaves that the quote unquote enslaved people that they went to go get was from West Africa. You feel me? And we know about the the most richest trade routes was in West Africa. You feel me? From the Sierra Desert in between North Africa. You feel me? They had the richest route. If, if it was any form of route today, and we was trading, that would be the greatest place to be. Even in this modern day, that would still be the greatest uh, route to be in. So they went to that Pacific location and grabbed a bunch of black people who was already educated. You feel me? They had to be. Let's look at. Let's take a look at the uh, the the line that Frederick Douglass came from. He was there when the Constitution was written. You feel me? I wouldn't be surprised if some of that information came out of Africa. Because when you have a great empire like Africa itself, and you've already established yourself for a long period of time before even other places came into form, that tells me that you already had a foundation or a constitution of how things were supposed to be done. And before the constitution was written, African Americans or black Americans or black, let's just say, black Americans were here 200 years plus before the constitution was even written down so that tells me that there was some kind of studying going on and there was this comes some kind of help going on from the slave themselves you feel me the slave could have came up with an idea and the master could have taken it for himself and be like yo that's my idea you feel me they could have just stolen that shit like we niggas had no rights back then you feel me like they could have just took it for themselves like and you know some of these niggas be trying to help out white like and shit like that. They be like, "Well, it's, sorry, you can do it like that, son." They was already established. They know how to farm a land. They they ain't, they ain't require no training. It was like when I came to California, I didn't require no training, nigga. I already had the experience. So when I came, I was already I was fit for the job. You feel me? There's positions that I'm already fit for that I don't require no training. If they was to put me in there today. They would think it's a promotion, but to me, I've already been there already. I already did that already. You feel me? I swear, there's promotions that I've already did already. And I, I like, you feel me? So it's like most, so it's like when you, when you are overlooked and some of the ideas is really yours, nobody's going to credit you for these things. The people who are, the people who take that credit for themselves. So I just feel like this, we're dealing with a different nature. We're dealing with a different beast. Um, but I'll be back. Hold on.